Ingrid Wilm, Sophie Angus, Rebecca Smith, and what a finish by Taylor Ruck, Canada's seventh and final medal coming in the 4x100 medley relay. What a performance. I'm poolside in sunny Sarasota, Florida. Somebody had to come down here on this assignment, Britt. Uh, wonderful to see you again. Look, spending time with, of course, Summer McIntosh here. She was so inspired by the Canadians and what she saw at Worlds. So right there, Britt, let's start with that finishing relay bronze medal. Yeah, I think it was a great example of a full team effort, right? Ingrid Wilm actually from the start in that Hunter backstroke to start off the relay was faster than her individual race. So you got to be happy with that. Last night, eight days of grueling competition. And of course, the Taylor Ruck, a split of 52 seconds. We are really thrilled about it. I think I'm constantly just keeping an eye on where she's able to get to, what she's able to get to. And to see her at this point in her season splitting times like that, I'm back to being excited about that women's relay, both the medley and, of course, the freestyle relays when it comes to Paris. You know, Britt, it seems uh, we actually knew what we were talking about because when we set up this world championship, the names we discussed, the Sydney Pickerums, uh, Ingrid Wilm, Finley Knox, we wanted to see if they could deliver, and they did. Maybe give me some impressions of the overall Canadian experience at these worlds. Yeah, I think we talked at the beginning about how the strategy was about, you know, some swimmers chose to opt in and others chose to opt out and focus on training. Now, you have to think though, those that did opt in, it was about making the most of it. And so you're traveling, you did that, you know, the, the travel to get there. You went through the motions of the training camp, the staging camp, the getting used to the time change, and then getting up and racing. And the people that did go, I am more than confident to say, it was a smart decision. I think they've really proved that this was uh, a racing opportunity. I think they've proved that they're capable of racing against the best in the world. I think for Cindy Pickering was absolutely a confidence builder. Finley Knox leaves $20,000 richer as a world champion. And then of course, Ingrid Wilm, having someone been in the shadows for quite some time to the great Kylie Moss in Canada to say, you know what, I can also be on an individual podium as well. So definitely checking those boxes when it comes to confidence and of course, Looking forward because we are months away from the Olympic Games. Uh, the clock is always ticking. I don't have to tell you that, Britt. As a swimmer, you know, uh, and so you said it. Paris is coming. So are the Olympic trials, about two and a half months away. So what uh, should we look forward to? Uh, because tapering begins very soon. It does, and I'm starting to get the goosebumps of, okay, we're right there, we're starting. Normally in Canada, of course, we have our trials end of March, early April, so I'm thinking they're around the corner. They're still a couple months away, two and a half months to be exact. We're looking at middle of May in Montreal, of course. I'm excited to kind of reintroduce ourselves to those names we haven't talked about in a little, like you mentioned, Summer. The Elias and the Josh, actually those two will be set for their conference championships for the NCAA program and then NCAA championships, so they're gonna be racing a lot in the coming months. We'll definitely be keeping an eye on how they are faring going into Olympic trials. But then we have Maggie McNeil, of course. It just continues to flow. Kylie Moss being over in Europe training, we don't really know where she's at in her routine as well. So just really a lot of kind of putting together the puzzle pieces, getting back excited about this full team. But knowing that going into the Paris Olympics, I think our swimmers are going to be more than prepared. Unparalleled depth in the pool, Britt, and you have been so outstanding covering it for us. I might have to jump in this pool to beat the heat in Florida as we count down to the Paris Olympics. But of course, the Olympic trials, Britt and I and our whole team will have extensive coverage. You can watch it. It's in Montreal. It all begins the Olympic and Paralympic swim trials, May 13th on CBC Sports.